When rendering from After Effects, you can often be overwhelmed by all the possible codecs and settings. Let's take a look at the best settings for quick and easy rendering. In my tutorials, I mostly recommend you to use H.264. After you've added your composition to the render queue, press the link next to Output Module and select H.264 from the drop-down menu. Be sure also to check Audio Output. By default, the H.264 options should be good enough, but if you want, you can tweak it using my options here. In some cases, the H.264 format does not appear in this list. You are then left with the difficult choice to choose between all these different settings. One possibility is to render without any encoding at all, selecting AVI or Video for Windows and no codec. This, however, leaves you with an enormous file, often a few gigabytes big, that you'll have to encode with other software afterwards. There is a lot of software available to do this task. Personally, I mostly use Xmedia Recode, which is free to download and has tons of settings. For easy rendering, just choose MP4 with an H.264 codec. You can also use Adobe Media Encoder to either recode after rendering or render the After Effects file directly like this. The settings in this program are very similar to the ones inside After Effects. If you use After Effects CS4 or CS3, you should, when you have the video for Windows format selected, have the possibility to choose the DivX codec under Format Options. This is also a very good codec for encoding through After Effects. If you use After Effects CS5 or higher, you will not have this option, so you should choose something else. From the drop-down menu, Windows Media is another option if you're using a Windows computer. But be sure to tweak the format options here for optimal quality. Finally, you can also use QuickTime format. QuickTime comes with a lot of format options. You should either use MPEG-4 or H.264 for optimal results. Finally, you can choose the output location by clicking the link next to Output 2. This will bring up a window where you can browse to the folder in which you want to save the file. That's it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye.